Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so happy you found your way to my channel and I really hope you are doing great. Today's video is a styling video and a haul video. You may wonder, a haul video again is an autumn haul video because I really enjoy watching them. And of course, I'm not going to keep all these items, but I'm looking for a few things to fill the gap in my wardrobe and therefore I placed a few orders from and other stories from Zara and from H&M and I will you know share them with you and show you things that I ordered even though I'm not going to keep all of them. And you know why these kind of videos can be actually helpful to you because have you ever been to Zara or and other stories online store? Have you seen how they feature their items? I mean with and other stories they sometimes, for example with this blazer, they just show it like this, you know, on a hanger and this is it, you know. You can't see their items, their garments on a person, let alone a real person. And with Zara is a different story anyway because, uh, I mean, from the artistic point of view they may be nice but as a customer you really want to see the garment on a person you know properly not in a odd you know position or something i myself i really love watching these videos because they inspire me and i love to see clothing items on real pe people. I will also put all my measurements uh, down below in the description box below. That may be a good reference for you. By the way, all the items you see in this video are listed with sizes and links in the description box below. So the first item makes me really laugh a lot because, you know, <laughs> my husband saw this on me and he said, this looks like a garment or like a blazer that your grandpa was just about to throw away and you pinched it from him. And I had to laugh so much because he said, you know, he saw me, he was a bit shocked. <laughs> so he was, really, he was really shocked. And, uh, and this is really fresh because these items just arrived today. And he saw it and he said, what is this? He was shocked. Not in a positive way, if you understand what I say. It is, a, I think this is a man repeller. Uh, definitely a man repeller. It makes me just laugh so much because... <laughs> it was so funny. He was just shocked, you know. He Like, are you kidding me? Is, it, is this for real? <laughs> and uh, I said, yes, this is the new, you know, trend. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, anyway, it, I think it looks cool. I like it, you know. And I think this blazer is such a great, oh, 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 oh. Wow. I, I show you what I'm seeing and I love what I'm seeing. Oh, I love, I love that. It's made in Italy. Oh, I have to investigate that. So now the price makes sense to me because it retails for almost 180 euro. I was in the city center and I went actually uh, only for this blazer and I tried it on in black and I really like the black. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or the black one but i will uh, let you know by the way if you are not following me on instagram you really should because on instagram i try to be more active and you will see me styling these pieces and uh, i will keep you updated on what i'm keeping and what i let go but uh, because sometimes here you have the impression i keep things and I have the impression I am going to keep things, but then after, you know, sleeping over things, I decide to let them go because I don't like to clutter my wardrobe. And I really want to be very, very critical of things that I keep in my wardrobe. This is the reason why I am 
very often indecisive about things that I keep. But you will see all that on Instagram. Please go and check me out. My name is just thanks to fashion. Anyway, so this uh, blazer, I like the color, it's not black. I like that the fact that it's not black. I like that. Even though my husband takes the mickey out of it and um, but I love the cut, uh, the cut and the shape of this blazer. Throw this blazer over an all black outfit and you look so, I think that would look so great. It would look so great with leather trousers, with uh, riding boots, with over the knee boots and a skirt. I just think that this blazer can be styled in so many different ways. With jeans, of course, you can put it on in the office environment, in a very casual environment, you name it. I really like this one. But as I said, I really like the black one as well. And I'm not sure which one. I wish I took a photo from the black one or filmed it but I didn't do it, I was like always in rush. I think the black one is versatile as well, but this color is a bit better because it breaks down an old black outfit, definitely. And with the black one, if the memory serves me right, the black one was a bit nicer to touch. So we will see, we will see. So next item is this cardigan in green. I love this color. I really do. I think this color is flattering on so many different, you know, skin uh, tones and many different hair colors. And I love the buttons of this one. I will show you the close up and you will see it. I own a few things in the same material from and other stories, and I have to say they keep up their shape and they wash very well uh, if you don't wash them with 60 degrees uh, of course what I have done in the past and they shrink so don't do that but um, it was not on purpose of course but yes they are they wash very well they keep their shape and I think they have a really great material and this is again oversized can you see the big pockets in front. I love a cardigan with big <laughs> pockets. I really like this boxy shape, you know, because you can form it, you can tuck it a bit in and I, you know, this color looks so great with leather pants or those with black, with jeans. We come to jeans, maybe we should move on to jeans. I picked up these jeans from and other stories. They are called Favorite Cut. And you know, now I understand why they called it a favorite cut because it's got everything that you like on a trousers. It's very soft, it is not rigid at all, and um, it is very stretchy, I would say. So I would go one size down. My size is normally in jeans. 26, 27 and I went with 27 with this one but after just a few minutes it loosened up. If I decide to go with these jeans I will go one size down for sure because I just I love comfortable jeans but I don't like jeans that are not meant to be slouchy but they get slouchy if you understand what I mean. And I love the length of it. It looks very classy and um, yeah, and I love the color. This color goes so well with this cardigan, by the way. And I love the cut. The cut is very straight. I do like it, but I really need to get used to it because this is a cut that I haven't worn in ages. Next one, we have this very cute mini skirt. Now with mini skirts, if you know me, you know I'm not a mini skirt person per se, but I do like mini skirts, especially in winter, sometimes. And I think because of the pattern and the color combination of this one, it gives the mini skirt a classic twist. And I like this twist. <laughs> I think um, it, this can look actually quite uh, 
classy. And I was thinking, you know, a mini skirt that is not too mini could look really great with my over the knee boots. And I really want to wear my over the knee boots more often this winter. This mini skirt looks so chic with, with this blazer again. Can you see what I'm going for? With the skirt, I went one size up because I don't like my skirts, especially if they are mini, to be too figure hugging or fitted. That's the reason why I went one size up. So with this jumper, I am 100% sure I'm going to keep this. This is such a beautiful material. I love the cut. It is a bit cropped, but not too cropped. It is just perfect, you know? I love it. Oh my God, the price. 129 euro for a jumper? That must be cashmere, right? Yeah, this is cashmere. But I love the color. It goes so well with so many things. And I placed an order with Zara and with H&M. And one, I don't know if it's Zara or H&M, I ordered a pair of leather trousers or leggings, I'm not sure. But I think this one will really look good with those uh, trousers. I love these two together as well. They look so chic, just beautiful. So our next item is this one. This OT color, you know, jumper is very oversized and I love an oversized jumper for winter because you know you can hide yourself inside of it and you it looks like a tent but never mind <laughs> i love it i love the color and as i said this is the same material like this one i have a jumper in this material in gray i bought it i think five years ago and it just uh, such a good quality so that's why I thought maybe it's time to get another one in a different color. So this one is a basic um, top in a knitted uh, material. It's normally not something that I go for because it's very figure hanging and very, you know, slim fitting. And I am all about loose stuff, as you can see, oversized stuff. But I thought I'd just try it and see how it looks on me. The next thing that I am actually going to keep, because this is a great basic, is this black shirt or top. I think uh, if you touch this, you can tell this is a really great material. And I love how it feels on the skin. It is very, very soft and with and other stories I have higher expectations and higher hopes. So um, let's see how this one washes. I am going to keep this one for sure. And the next thing I ordered, <laughs> you will be surprised, is this top. I'm sure if you watched my last video, you've seen this one on my last in my last video. I sent that back because of this area. It stood off my body so you could see through, uh, but I, I really loved the cropped detail. I love that it is done so well, but the bust area didn't look really great on me, I think. I sent it back, but then I kept thinking about it and I ordered it again a size, but this time I went a size up. I thought maybe if I go a size, you know, bigger or larger, it would fit better. I think if I wash it once, it will soften up and, um, you know, lie on your figure and your bust area much better. So I have to think about that. Maybe I keep it. Maybe not, I'm not sure. I'm still not 100% sold on this one. So this is, this is it. Did I show you everything? I think I show you every piece. Yes, I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of these pieces, please let me know. I am more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next one. Until then, take good care of yourself and yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.